Tumor treating fields, or TT fields, are low-intensity alternating electric fields within the intermediate frequency range. This non-invasive treatment targets solid tumors. TT fields are generated via pairs of transducer arrays placed directly on the skin surface. TT fields disrupt cell division through physical interactions with key molecules during mitosis. There are two well-established physical processes that TT fields use to disrupt dividing cells. Dipole alignment. Dipoles are molecules in which the electric charge is separated. In a uniform alternating electric field, dipoles oscillate in sync with the field. At high frequencies, motion diminishes as the dipoles align with the field. Dielectrophoresis. When electric fields are non-uniform, polarizable objects migrate toward regions of high field density in a process known as dielectrophoresis. Let's now explore these physical processes in biological context. During the metaphase stage of cell division, cells take on a rounded shape as the mitotic spindle forms. Spindle fibers, microtubules, are created through the polymerization of tubulin dimers. As this occurs, septin protein complexes migrate toward the cell midline, where they are known to demarcate and stabilize the contractile apparatus of the cytokinetic furrow. Both tubulin dimers and septin molecules exhibit large dipole moments. When TT fields are activated, a uniform electric field develops within the cell and polar molecules are subject to rotational forces. This causes tubulin dimers and septin molecules to align with the field, inhibiting normal microtubule formation and mislocalizing the contractile apparatus. Disruption of the spindle structure and mislocalization of the contractile apparatus lead to membrane blebbing during anaphase, prolonged mitosis, and mitotic cell death. Deformed cellular structures resulting from TT fields can also lead to abnormal DNA segregation between daughter cells and eventually cell death. In cells that manage to complete metaphase and enter cytokinesis, the hourglass shape that forms leads to a non-uniform electric field within the cell. This results in dielectrophoresis, net forces on polarizable objects toward regions of high field density, concentrating macromolecules and organelles toward the mitotic furrow, leading to structural disruption and cell fragmentation. The extent of electrical non-uniformity in dividing cells is dependent on the frequency of the TT fields, the electric properties of the cell, and the orientation of the dividing cell relative to the field. Because cells divide in all directions, TT fields are delivered through two pairs of transducer arrays that generate perpendicular fields within the treated tumor. Cycling the field between these two directions ensures that a maximal range of cell orientations is targeted. Optimal tuning of field frequency to specific cell type further increases electrical non-uniformity maximizing TT field's anti-mitotic effect without affecting non-dividing cells. TT fields exhibit a low toxicity profile due to their regional mode of delivery and frequency-specific treatment of cancerous cells.